Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Pixel Bender from Adobe Labs. Now, first thing to do, of course, is to go onto the internet and go to the Adobe Labs site, which is labs.adobe.com. Now, from here, there is all sorts of great new features and new things that Adobe are testing and putting out for sort of release for you to try. So it's a good site to come back to every now and again. But we're looking specifically for Pixel Bender, and we'll find it by clicking in the search box here and typing it in Pixel Bender and click on the search button. Now, the very first search result that it brings up should be the Pixel Bender plugin for Photoshop, and that's what I want. So I'm going to click on that and we'll go to the Pixel Bender page. Now, from here, there are plenty of bits of information about how to install it, but I'll show you how to do that on a Windows machine in just a moment. But for now, what you need to do is just download it. So I'm going to click on the download, the Pixel Bender, and you'll get taken to the next screen where you have to say that you agree to the license like that. And then come down to the bottom and download the correct version for your particular PC or Mac. Now, once you've done that, you're going to end up with a file. I've got it in my downloads folder like this. So how do you get Pixel Bender installed on your version of Photoshop? Well, Adobe have given us some free software installed with the last few versions of Photoshop. It's called Extension Manager, and you'll find it on Windows by going to the Start button in the bottom corner. You may well find it already on your system, but I'm just going to type in the search box at the bottom, Extension Manager CS5, and that'll bring it straight onto the screen here. Now, you might be tempted just to click it and start running it, but a little sort of inside tip here. From experience, the best thing to do is to right-click this and then left-click Run as Administrator. That will give you uh, rights to this that will make it easier to install. You will get a little pop-up warning message. We'll just say yes to that. And that will launch Adobe Extension Manager for CS5. So now all I've got to do is get the Pixel Bender installed onto Extension Manager, and I do that by clicking the Install button up at the top here, navigating to my Downloads folder, clicking, and then clicking Open, like that. Now, that'll unpack Pixel Bender and install it. All you have to do is just accept everything as you go along, and there you go. I've installed a brand new filter called Pixel Bender in Photoshop. If I launch Photoshop up, let's just have a, a quick little look here and we'll bring it down onto the screen. And from the filter, I now have Pixel Bender available. So there you go. There's how you can install Pixel Bender on your version of Photoshop. I'm Gavin Hoey from GavTrain.com. Thanks for watching.